Hello, I'm John Jacobs. I work on the night air on ABC Radio National, make a radio program, and for fun I muck around with videos, and so that's why I'm interested in the pool, because it brings audio and video together in remixing. What's remixing? Well, remixing is telling a new story, your story, a new one, out of existing stories, other people's stories. So it's collaborating, it's working together, and that's what one thing I really like about the pool, it's collaborative creation. The dive. The ecstasy of the dive. I got into remixing because when you're editing a story, you're cutting it down to tell a short version of the story. And then, but once you start bringing in different elements, the story really opens up and becomes something different again. And it's much more, I think, more interesting. So I, I like remixing and I like it, it that um, you work with other people's stuff and you bring it together. I think people naturally want to talk to each other and um, the way we've got authorship going at the moment where you, you tell a story it's a bit one directional which is good because you get a clean take of what someone's opinion is but I think an opinion's always richer with, if it bounces off another opinion I think there's a lot of expertise out in audience land and um, I think let's invite that back into the creation of the story the, the media agenda uh, should be opened up and the pool is the start of doing that so this little remix that I've made is uh, a story about swimming and water. So I've got some people talking, these little spots here. I've got some people blowing bubbles in custard, the famous custard bubbles from the pool. And I've got some uh, footage I took down the bush of a creek, nice ripples on the water. I've got some blobs I made up in my software. And we've got little black and white mouths jabbering on and they were downloaded from archive.org these little blobs here, here and here so one cool thing about when you start remixing and start sharing your files is you're immediately connecting with other people and you're building a conversation everyone's got a different take, everyone's got a different idea um, if we all just sit in our bedrooms and do our own thing the world's not going to be very interesting so let's let's connect I always say the material knows what it wants to do and uh, you then listen to the material look at your material and start observing connections and um, it's the connections I think connections is where the interest is um, and that draw out those connections and and then let those speak to you collaborate with your material so I was just walking along one day and there was these great Czech tiles and I happened to have my camera and uh, I was taking photos of them and I thought oh a video this would look great on video so I just grabbed a few dumps of that 15 seconds couple of them put them together and they just make a beautiful mix look at that the way they cut intercut into each other so just keep your eye open keep your phone or your camera ready it's out there beautiful stuff is in the world so um, I I do all this stuff just on my home computer, it's not the professional gear that I use in my day job. So don't think that you need complicated stuff, there's free tools out there on the internet to do it and any machine can, can pretty much make audio and video that's really viewable, that's really hot. The only limitation might be what you're thinking, so just open your mind, grab the stuff, tell the new story. There's a whole world of people out there who are going open source content adding their stuff to the public domain out at CC Mixter, out at Freesound and where you can pull down stuff, change it, put it back up again uh, a lot of net labels are releasing their music free of copyright and this is the alternative media universe that's being built right now so when you're remixing and telling a new story with old stuff just make sure that you don't nick people's stuff you can ask their permission first or just let it go because there's so much good stuff out there you don't have to infringe copyright there's more and more public domain footage is available I'd like to see um, some collaborative content creation social networking tool like this be the future of public broadcasting. I'd like to see the ABC as one giant wiki where people are creating a public conversation together, setting the national agenda and informing themselves, entertaining themselves. I think this is possible and I think it will happen.